hi my friend and welcome 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 to this tutorial first of all i want to say a very very big thank you to those who have seen supported sketchly from start to reaching 1000 subscribers so at least you've helped us reach this benchmark even if we are very far away from reaching the monetization requirement at least letting us know that you always be there for us to watch our videos to subscribe means a lot on its own so thank you for watching this video so today's tutorial will be on how we can add a youtube subscribe button okay so now we are going to click on authentication after clicking on authentication the next thing we are going to do is to when we click on education it will show us what we see in the screen users automatic so we are going to click on signing method after clicking on signing method if we have not linked added our google login as a provider we click on the add new provider but i can see in this tutorial i've already added a provider so the no need of adding my in my in my in firebase console but if you have not added yours you need to add yours to your firebase console so you are going to enable it that is all you need to do so you can see in the audit button so now i'm going to need two things which is the web configuration from the web configuration center which is the client id and the client secrets i'm going to copy these two things to our clipboard and make sure we save it because we're going to use them inside our project this is the way that firebase will verify who is trying to use a user gmail account to log in so it's part of the ways i'm now going to open our door and click on this i'm going to click on this so from there after clicking on that we're going to go to our project settings so in our project settings i will assume you have already added your app in our project settings please add your shawan key add your shawan key here you can see i've added mine i've added my shawan key of my app we're also going to copy our web api key which will also be needed inside the project so it's very important to copy this key and save it to our clipboard also so now we're going to go to our firebase cloud console we're just going to do another so we have our google cloud console to enable the youtube data api so what we're going to do there is just a minor work so in my firebase the name of my project is sketchly so the sketchly project will appear but when i click on this i'm going to search for that project since it's what i'm working with so i'm going to select sketchly because I'm going to use the app connected to Sketchly Firebase console on my Sketchway project. So after loading, when it's loaded, I will drop the link to this website in the video description. Please do wait to always check video description. I better explain things more that I can't explain in the video. Also in the video description, I'll drop link to tools that are needed for a project. My sketchly project are loaded so i click on the door and look for scroll down to api and services and i click library so after clicking library it's going to load what it does is it loads all the library so this website contains all the api access google offers also play store api access google gmail api access google search api so it has a lot of function not just using it for youtube the web page has loaded i search the word using the search bar the word youtube so when i search the word youtube it will show us all the services that this that google offers related to youtube but now i'm using mobile mode which will not show the web you can see mobile mode doesn't show the web so now what we need to do is enable desktop mode so that we can see a clearer view of the website and select more options so i'm going to let the desktop mode to load so that we can select the youtube feature we need in our app so with it loaded so what i'm going to select youtube data v3 i'm going to select that so this is the final step for the web configuration i told you it's two sessions 
the web section to co to create a project, link it, and then collect the infos from the Firebase console and enable. So mine has been enabled. So if I want to disable, I click on the manage button. So since it has been enabled, that is all. Then I'm going to go to Sketchware to create my Sketchware project that queries YouTube subscribe button API. So now with our Sketchware Pro project created, what I did was to add my Google login button. So I added my Google login button. And then I added Firebase to my project. So after enabling Firebase to my project, that will enable me to add the required Firebase library just for Google login. So Firebase is only needed for Google login. So you can see I scroll down to select my Google sign in button. You can see there's an edit text also. Edit text is to put channel ID, so you can put channel ID of any channel to subscribe to any channel, not just the channel connected to your email of your Firebase. And then I added the button to sign out. So you can see the edit text enables us to add any channel ID, even after the app has been created, to subscribe to any channel at all. After the user has granted you access, so I'm going to add the following imports to my project. So adding this import makes sure that compiling this I do not produce error. So I'm going to add all these required components. So when the sign up button is clicked, the following codes and blocks are used to sign out from both Firebase and Google Login. So now in our Firebase on create, so in our project on create. Now project on great we add the following code. We add the following code. So uh, I added three string. That is the ID, this the secrets. These two major strings are what we are focusing on. Okay, remember I told us to copy from our Firebase console. So I also added this code to our on create. So the ID we copy for our Firebase console. We're going to paste it here. Where we copy the web client secret and web client ID. So we copy, we paste the ID here to the string, and I'll show so we can paste the secret string too. So the next thing we're going to do is to add the following component. First, our Google login component. I name mine GL. You can name yours any name you prefer, it doesn't really matter. Next, I name my Firebase auth component m auth same thing you can name yours anything next in added my request network component this is using this is, we are going to query youtube api google api for permission access because what we are doing is the app on behalf of that gmail is making requests so we need authentication we need approval we need permission as the case may be to be able to carry out actions on behalf of that email so that's why we're going to use request network component and we added the following component that is we first add the on on account cancel on account picked on and also we're going to add the on response and failure for both our request network components so now when on account cancel this is done we do nothing so when the user does not pick an account we attack clicking the sign in button we do nothing but when the user picks an account we are now going to do the following which is we are going to store our secret secret id client web client secret that we copy from firebase to this and then i created map variables as the key as you can see on the screen i added the following blocks and codes So now this makes an API request and after making an API request, what the next action that goes is is to get the token. So we need user's token. So the user's token we use to make to query again for subscribe subscribe to to make a subscribe query as as the case may be. So now when we have query for the token, 
when we query for the user token after the signing we are we were able to get codes that allow us query for the user's token so we can see after the signing we query for the user token so when we get a response when we get a response we are now going to with that response we are going to use the following code to sign in to firebase number one after signing to firebase it's also going to sign it's also going to subscribe so after we've successfully gotten the token we need we are now going to use the following code in our response to subscribe so we are going to use this following code to subscribe there's a more block that activates this code there's a more block to activate this code i'm going to show us now so this is the more block to activate this code so all this code does is to subscribe using request network so this doesn't even use any library the only library we needed was to so log in to firebase log in to google so now this is subscribe codes where i created some map variables that is the inner snipet the snipet and the rest to this website so please notice that this is my web api key that i told us to copy from our project settings on firebase please put yours because using mine won't work on your project replace it with yours i'm going to highlight the place where you need to replace so i'm going to highlight it so you can see as i've highlighted it replace it then we are done here we are done yeah so now on response when the user have subscribed so whether the user has subscribed or the user is an existing subscriber we are going to get the response here so whether the user has subscribed or is already a subscriber we are going to get a response here so now that is all let's compile our project to an app and test it so our app has been built and i've launched the app so now this is Ketley's channel id you can replace with your channel ID or any of any channel ID you want. Ready signing to one of my Gmail.